Time after time, you try to take this castle. But you will never succeed, Skeletor. Call your champion. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It's the one and only off the bottom is coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the folks over at Mattel, we're going to be taking a look at their new Netflix Masters of the Universe Revelations Moss Man. Part of their new Masterverse line, Moss Man was honestly the figure in this first wave I was most looking forward to. I just think he looks incredible. For the package, as you can see, you got that nice box with the open window that fully showcases them. Because you got the Masters of the Universe Revelation logo down there. Part of the Masterverse, like I said, you see some hieroglyphics kind of around the logo itself. The side here has Moss Man. This side here has a real cool image of Moss Man sporting some crazy eyebrows. I really like the way that looks. And then you come around the back, you can see that the eyebrows are present again. But what you see is, again, absolute incredible art. The Masters of the Universe line, whether it was the original Vintage series or even up to the new Origin stuff, and now with the new Masterverse stuff, the art that they put on here always looks amazing. You can see some other characters back there, and there, you can see, like, that Skeletor, I can't really make out who that is. Maybe that's Beastman. I'm kind of thinking that's Beastman because of the way that those little arm bits are, so can't wait to see that. But then you got the other figures that are in this first wave, including He-Man, obviously Moss Man, Skeletor, and Evil Lynn. But for the packaging on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Moss Man opened up and out of his packaging. And as I said, this is the one that I was looking forward to the most, and I am not disappointed. This guy turned out fantastic now starting off first with his accessories uh, you can see that he's got a couple uh holding hands here you got the little hole section right there then you also do get a pair of um uh, well fairly relaxed hands if you just want to have him kind of hanging his hands down uh, you can see that he's only got three fingers and a thumb but you can see great detail now he is not flocked a lot of people are probably going to be disappointed in that I don't mind it really all that much because the detail on here is phenomenal. You can really see a lot of sculpted in detail with that, which looks really very cool. All the way around, there's a lot of really nice detail put into just about everywhere on him, including his hands. And then you do get a pair of grasping, reaching out sort of hands. They're, they're a little bit more spread out here. They can't really hold anything, but they're like reaching around, ah, trying to grab you and stuff. And then you do get this, which is a really cool effect, but in practice, it doesn't work all that great. Uh, great detail on here. You can see it's uh, a new hand sort of thing, so it's like he's reaching out and his fingers and everything are reaching out to grab people. It's not really pliable or anything. It's just a kind of uh, just a, an effect, really. And then all you do is you pop out the, the hand and you plug it inside. Now, the problem, though, that I have is that because there is a hinge on here, you can see that it goes left and right, much like all the uh, the other hands do have uh, the thing in there. So if you reach it out, it has this tendency. It's heavy. Uh, there, there's no doubt about it. I feel like they should have, number one, made the, uh, the peg hole longer so you could have a longer peg to put it in there. Plus, don't put that hinge there. Now, you can rotate it, which you can see... That's it with the uh, the regular up and down sort of thing. But when you rotate it around, you can do that, which works a lot better. But it's still very heavy. So uh, it's hard to get him balanced with it uh, reaching forward. And like I said, in theory, really good. In practice, not as great as I would like. But honestly... I'm quite content with just the figure himself because I think he looks super cool. Uh, I don't know really what you could do with this. Just kind of lay it down there and maybe enhance the overall presence of him. But figure-wise, this is an incredible looking figure. I put the wrong hand back on there. I, I put his uh, more relaxed hand. But absolutely gorgeous. The detail on here, like I was saying, is really very well done. Well, yeah, he's not flocked. Every bit about this has an amazing sculpted detail that really does 
give it a almost moss sort of look to it. I, I really dig it. You see a lot of different color elements in there, many different greens. You got some browns. He definitely has a the Swamp Thing vibe going on here. If you know Swamp Thing, kudos to you. Gorgeous head sculpt. He definitely has those crazy eyebrows going through there. Really nice. You got some leaves and some extra bits sticking out. I love that. He's not symmetrical, which looks really cool. He does have his little loincloth down here, and you got a little belt section, but this kind of looks like mud almost, and this looks like moss just draping down. So it's all incorporated very, very nicely. Even when you like look at this, these look like their um, forearm guards, uh, just the way that they're sculpted and kind of designed, which looks really cool and blends in, again, very, very nicely. Come down to the legs, you can see, again, the green coloring really goes throughout with like the darker green, a little bit lighter green, lighter green down here, and then the feet are just awesome. I love them. They're like little roots. So, so cool. I, I just love the detail all the way around this guy. It's incredibly well done i mean even in like simple pieces like down here or even the the elbow section here has some nice sculpted in detail just really quite impressive and again real good size uh this is meant to be like a seven inch line so the only uh origins figure and i guess this would be a, kind of a representation of like the, the vintage line uh here we have a uh, cronus so you can kind of see the scale here i do apologize i do not have hardly any of my classic figures anymore and definitely don't have the uh, classics moss man make sure you stay tuned and check out pixel dan's review i'm 100 percent convinced that he'll be able to do a full very detailed comparison for you guys if you're looking for that uh, the only one that i really have kind of hanging around still is my classics hordak so you can kind of see the the scale with this it, it, it works pretty good obviously this is not the look of the new show this is so there is definitely a stylistic change but i think that the scale still works pretty good and because we have taken a look at uh Skella god i'm gonna bring him in he is massive by comparison you can see that he is definitely taller i i wasn't expecting that to be totally honest um i i, I honestly i don't know what i was really expecting with the size of this i guess i had that so I had that in my mind this guy though as you can see is much shorter and he's fairly standard for the rest of the figures so this guy is massive and i love it and yep i got all the other ones so you're going to be seeing all of those reviews here in the next coming days first articulation though uh it is much like skele gods you do have a ball joint here at the head you can pop it off if you really want it so you can see the ball joint right there uh, you do have a little bit of forward and back i do wish that they did something like what marvel legends do and put that little cut there so you can get a little bit further of a range of motion with um Mossman here it's not as bad but it is something i notice on he-man and we'll talk about that when we get to that review shoulders are on the pin hinge joint so you can move those in and out you can also rotate those forward and back both sides do that very nicely you do have a rotation at the upper part of the bicep you do have two bends at the elbow which is really nice you do have the rotation and then the pin so you can get a good range of motion with his wrists he does have this diaphragm joint which you don't get a lot of motion with it, it just kind of wiggles uh you can't really twist it much because it feels like it kind of springs back so a little bit not not a ton but you do have a waist swivel here which is nice you kind of use that with with that more than anything hips here move forward and back they move in and out they rotate at the upper part of the thigh again they have two bends here at the knee then the ankles do move forward and back but, but you do have some extra sculpt work around here so it does kind of limit it so you don't get a ton of forward and back with the foot itself so just uh bear that in mind but you also can rotate it so kind of position that however really you want to uh does it have a rocker it does not have a rocker so there's not that i can really see maybe that's a ball joint type of thing that's kind of wiggly and then, no 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 that's the, that's that pin hinge thing but i don't feel like there's a rocker in there. there there might be but again because of the way that that's sculpted there it's you're, you're not going to really get to utilize it all that much overall though i am really very very pleased like i said this was the one i was looking forward to the most and i'm definitely not disappointed in him um i'm i'm really quite happy with, with how he turned out now uh, i do have 
a bit of a, a disappointment in this. Not that it's a bad idea. I, I just feel like the execution is not as great as it could be. Like I, I, I mean, you could have put the hole a, a little bit deeper in there to kind of get in a stand, um, have just a little bit more solid of a thing. And then regardless, I mean, and you definitely didn't need to put the hinge in there because that really kind of flops around a little bit. But you, you definitely, if you're going to use this, you're definitely going to want to help, uh, let me bring this in, by uh, bringing in like a guy like this that you can kind of rest it on. So if you're, you know, I'm going to steal the sword from you. I mean, you could do that. I mean, that's actually kind of cool looking. I dig that. You know, so if you have a way to kind of uh, prop that up, it's it's good. But beyond that, yeah, a bit of a, bit of a disappointment in that. But in, in general, the figure itself is just so darn good that I don't even really care that much about it. But um, there you go, guys. There's my look at the new Masters of the Universe, Revelations, Mossman. Again, I want to send a huge thank you to the folks over at Mattel for making this review possible. These guys will be hitting various retail locations fairly soon, kind of like what we were getting with the uh, the Battle Cat and the Skele God. So it should be soon. So if you are looking for them, good luck and happy hunting. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. As always, if you made it to the end of this review, I'd really appreciate if you would do one very simple thing for me. And that's just to hit that thumbs up button. Believe it or not, that one very small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out. And I would really very much appreciate it. And as always, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.